Oh, here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent Thrilling intent, thrilling intent. My crossbow discharges, the bolt slices into the creature's head, and it squabbles around for a little bit before falling down. Uh, <laughs> squabbles. <laughs> Okay, yeah, the creature squabbles back and forth, letting out quite a ruckus. Your stealth attempt has completely fucking failed, but your luck shitting certainly is not. <laughs> you begin to hear a, uh, you begin to hear clattering from down the hallway, followed by a man. You believe additional trollides are coming. Yeah. Um, yes. What am I looking at over here? Is this like a... Oh, boy boat looking thing or that is a boat sticking out of the wall that is okay that's weird i don't boat. want to think about that so instead i'm going to focus my attention here and i'm going to try and use <laughs> shadow manipulation to form a wall which kind of goes almost to the edge here so we can kind of funnel them in one by with one traps please <laughs> yes. put spikes on that wall i'm absolutely creating spikes on it there are spikes all over the wall now <laughs> we're about to have a okay. tandem attack <laughs> oh boy okay uh, <laughs> in response to Gregor rolling across the ground and firing a crossbow bolt out at this trollide, you conjure a wall from the floor, it slurps into the ceiling, and in a split second, <laughs> spines begin to jump from the sides of it, forming with a swing, they <laughs> stick out sideways, striking this trollide. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the first trollide impacts the wall. You don't see any of it, but you sure do hear this thing dying instantly. Well, I guess that did its job. Um, the rest of you want some of that? I yell over the wall. First rule of hiding, don't yell from your hiding place. We're not still hiding, Harlock. We stopped hiding, like, what, five seconds ago? All right, I'm going to grappling hook grab that, pro that trollide that's uh, on our side of the wall. Yeah. And fling him into the spike wall. You drag it back to you, snap, and then just throw with all of your might, and it just sticks into the side of the wall. <laughs> it slowly slides down on the other side. The trollides on the far side just see it sort of like fucking bump out here. <laughs> they exchange one look, this one leaves. <laughs> yeah. I guess this building has a roach problem. So we just, we know how to kill troll lights instantly from now on. Spike them into a yes. shadow wall, right? Of course. Speaking of which, you're probably going to need to kill one instantly because one's rushing. Oh shit, guys. Gregor, Gregor! Well, Gregor, acting swiftly, throws the crossbow at the oncoming troll line. <laughs> <laughs> Gregor heaves the crossbow over his head and down into the trollide, where, despite being a very blunt weapon, not even the <laughs> weapon part of it, it sticks in. <laughs> There's a lot of goopy trollide blood. I appreciate it's... your resourcefulness. It sags to the side, completely blind and off course. It stumbles against your legs. Gregor, not being one to waste an opportunity, takes out his glaive, Stabs it into the trollide and uses it to fling it against the wall. Like a spatula, Gregor quickly <laughs> sticks his glaive underneath it and <gasps> whizzing across the room. Crespo flying free of it, he catches it in his offhand. The creature sticks against the wall and is killed instantly. <laughs> you make a great team, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sold on this whole crossbow thing. <laughs> give it give it some time. Feel it out. Yeah. I mean, uh, Gregor sits only, down on the only ground. The first and begins... I ever gave to you, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Gregor sits down on the ground and begun, begins the process of winding it back and reloading the bolt. And, um, I think next time I'll no get you a enemies one. are coming. I'll let you hold my arm next time. It's a repeater. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can I use shadow manipulation to try and phase these, uh, 
like, I assume, tragically gory bodies to the other side of the wall. <laughs> yeah, just get them out of here, absolutely. Or, yeah, and also Space. to try and scare any more of their fellows off. Each spike forms a tiny hand and draws the creature in, uh, draws the creatures inward. To you guys, you simply see them vanishing into a pitch black void suspended in space. They slide through with a slurp, vanish, and touch down on the other side. You know, you've seen none of this. You hear none of this, but you know it to be true. On the on the far <laughs> side, the trollide, now grateful for its meal, these things are gross cannibals, uh, uh, is dragging away one of the uh, one of the corpses that you impaled on the wall. It is now pelt with, pelted with two additional corpses. <laughs> Uh, the creature looks up to the heavens, single tear glistening in its horrible, <laughs> gross eye. It thanks you for the food and vanishes, dragging along with it wow. its new bounty. I uh, listen to the sounds of cannibalism, flash a thumbs up at my teammates, and go, mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and I dispel the shadow wall. Um, thanks for leaving it up for a while. We didn't need to see that. No, I don't think any of us wanted to see that. Oh, you're not even ready. <laughs> Where? So, Harlock, does this look familiar to you? Have you been in this house before or anything? I know it's a long shot. I'm sorry to say, Harlock, you are not home. However, you are familiar with this kind of building. This is a smuggler's hideaway. Um, along the coast, there were a lot of little holdfasts that smugglers used to have. They used to, like, rob Navy yeah. ships, rob merchants... Um, and they'd come back to locations like this. Usually they're dug into the sheer cliff face, hidden away from any sort of repercussions. These areas are incredibly difficult to find, and, well, judging by the, uh, how awful the shape it's in, you're guessing this one fell into disrepair and was abandoned. <laughs> so, uh, what town ex specifically were we going to again? You were heading to Steel Point, right? And okay, so I think it would yeah, be safe to assume. Yeah, it would be safe to assume that we are probably in Steel Point. We're probably around where we need to be. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, that's probably a little bit good. Mm -hmm. And you might find some goodies around here from some lazy smugglers who didn't feel like taking it. Ooh. Speaking of which, bunch of chests in this room. Interesting. Yeah, uh, Harlock bunch punches all the chests. <laughs> she punches. punches? Yes. Oh, Click and dirty oh, trap in jacket. case they're mimics. In, in, oh case, in case they're mimics. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a reflex. God fucking damn it. Okay. <laughs> uh, you strike the chest. You hit the lock in such a way that it just pops open. It tips up on its, uh, it tips up on its hinges. And a spray of poison fires into the air and then harmlessly floats to the ground. You get the feeling if you'd stuck your face in the trap like a greedy adventurer, <laughs> it likely would have been melted off with acid. Yep, that's what I used to do. <laughs> no kidding? Huh. At least yep. this one isn't. At least this one wasn't alive. Yeah. All right, let's uh, check the next uh, one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Glad to have you trap? here. <laughs> Keeping our faces together. Yep. Uh, Harlock, on this one, you're about to punch it, but you stop. You notice a thin line leading from the chest to the painting behind you. You believe that there's some sort of trap rigged up there. <laughs> All right, let's disarm this trap. This poorly okay. made trap that was so easily detected. I hope they can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> These hunters should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no, you're used to pulling apart shitty traps like these. <laughs> it's almost it's really whistle... embarrassing, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and almost whistle leaves your lips as you, like, fucking reach down and just, like, nonchalantly unhook a wire that uh, that's connected up in such a way that, uh, should you try to open this, uh, uh, the wire would be pulled taut and trigger a hidden crossbow behind the head of the king right here, <laughs> likely spearing you in the back Ooh, of the neck. I'm gonna snag that crossbow. <laughs> Are we just, now everyone is this has our, a crossbow. just gonna turn into collecting crossbows? I mean, look, if, if Gregor has a crossbow and you have a crossbow, I yeah, it's only fair. I just like it's a crossbow the new rat too. Coin. Okay, like yeah. I'm, a, I'm a greedy man. I'm re I'm ready to admit it. Yeah. Is fair. there anything in the poison chest other than yeah. unused poison? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, first, let's address this uh, crossbow situation. Okay. Uh, Marcus, yeah, you get a crossbow too. Thank you. Uh, this crossbow. 
This crossbow isn't poisoned, uh -huh. but it's it's got a specific type of arrow tip on it. Uh -huh. It's basically this big blunt thing. Mm. You get the feeling that it was meant to smash bone. Oh, if that okay. hit you in the back of the neck, you'd probably die. Great. Oh. Well, I definitely die. To they, a regular they'd crop probably die. I, I definitely yeah, die. Yeah, <laughs> actually, you're more you're more likely to survive getting struck by a normal crossbow because, like, In fucking. The back of the you neck. Oh yeah, because yeah, of my the hollow bone. Maybe you can go through. <laughs> Yeah, no, you could maybe you could maybe heal yourself or something. Right. Getting hit with uh, getting hit with something that just breaks your spine means no oh, that's, healing. Yeah. That's nasty. I'll trade you that for a couple more crossbow bolts. No, 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 no. This is my specialty bolt. Just like Gregor has his poison bolt. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're all getting okay, we're gonna fight a bunch attacks. of skeletons at some point, and this is going to be the money maker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's okay. see what's in these boxes now that they aren't in trouble. Oh, is this a box up here? Um, yeah, there is one additional box. First, all let's right. yeah, no, let's let's disarm all these boxes and then then address the loot. Okay. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna pop this one open. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one doesn't even have a trap on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> like normally, that would be the trap. The uncertainty that you feel that there are two trap chests and the last one doesn't seem to have a trap on it. <laughs> it just but didn't yours... feel like setting up a third trap, so they're like, yeah, "Oh, no, they're gonna be dead." <laughs> You're actually so good at this. You're like, oh no, this is this is an old trapper's trick, and it's a real frustrating, annoying one. Mm. <laughs> it, it's the pig one, pig two, pig four <laughs> of traps. That's great. It's just like, ugh. awful. Okay, so you look in each of the chests. Uh, first one you pop out, uh, first one you pop open, speaking of rat coins, you find some old smudged dollary dues. Oh. These are, uh, these ancient coins bear a sigil that you don't recognize. Harlock would, though. Um. Is it in the box that I opened? Uh, yeah, actually, there's, uh, there's two in the box that Harlock opened, one in the box that Gregor opened, and then nobody's on the third box. But, um, yeah, taking a look at the coins, uh -huh. Harlock, you recognize these as smugglers' tokens. They're specifically, uh, they're, think of them almost like doubloons. They're carved of ancient gold. They're meant to preserve their value no matter what, no matter what country you're in, and no matter what empires overturn in the meantime. They're overlaid with platinum patterns. These things are incredibly valuable, specifically to people who do nasty deeds. I see the dollar reduce and immediately begin rummaging in the third chest. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. No, Marcus, you find the chest of crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm stuffing as many of these into my ass sack as I can. 